Hi there, I'm one of the CG uh, artists working on Venus Rises and I'm just going to have a quick look around uh, on a few of the models for you so you can see some behind the scenes on some of the CG effects that uh, help create the uh, sci-fi show Venus Rises. So we're in an application called Lightwave and Lightwave is two applications uh, sort of tied together with a third application called the Hub and, uh, and of, the two of the two main applications, one's called Modeler, one's called Layout. Model is where you go and build all your models such as uh, this transporter or characters or spaceships or planets and things like that and then Layout is your virtual film studio where you go and place all your uh, objects and you uh, light them, place in cameras and animate them and then render out your final videos for um, editing into the final show. So, um, going to have a a quick look at a couple of the models. So this is um, a transport model. You'll see this on the moon base, probably only for about five or six frames. Uh, but it's also shown on the Mars uh, main uh, sites as well. And it's just, it's a general heavy duty transporter uh, that is ground based. Obviously, that's why it's on wheels. And it's got various um, aerials and spare tires and sort of little little sort of tool area down here, little lights and fuel things and all those sort of stuff and it's got plenty of wheels because it's sort of like rough terrain and uh, yeah there you go that's basically a transporter and it's called number, it's got number 13 because things just happen to be unlucky usually so 13 sort of works on that one. Right let's go and um, swap out to another model so let's go down to here and we'll have a look at transporter so this is a uh, suborbital transporter. Basically, it's a lander, and this is based on well, based on a couple of um, things I've found on the internet. I looked for reference images, obvious reference image you you go and look at to build some sort of landing uh, spaceship would be the lunar lander from the 1960s and early 70s that NASA had, and also looking at um, the European Space Agency and NASA again on their. Uh, concepts for landers for landing on Mars and also for going back to the moon and they're sort of a bit more robust and a bit bigger than the original lunar lander and so that's, that's what I've got constructed it so it's a similar sort of idea I've got different thrusters for orientation it's sort of I think it's a bit bigger than the original lunar lander a bit more robust and uh, yeah so that's a pretty simple sort of model and we're looking at this in uh, what we call flat shaded mode we can also look at it in textured mode and well there's not a lot of difference apart from we've got nice smooth areas now before we look at it and we are in model so you're not getting a final rendered look to how it looks like but gives you an idea okay so that's that that's the sort of suborbital lander and let's have a look at what can we have a look at next how about we look at the lift okay so here we go this is a lift and this is basically this is the way well, this is one of the ways you can get down from a sub or low orbit on the moon down to the cryogenic um, moon base which is really a penal colony, colony or um, prison basically for people who have been rather naughty so rather than doing time and having to look after them with people we take them there and we cryogenically freeze them for their term of their sentence depending on how bad they've been so uh, one of the ways to get down there would be via this lift system. So this is the actual lift itself, and we do our we are showing the textures on here. They won't look as uh, bright as this when we actually render it out, and we can also take the textures off in the viewport just to see what it's actually made of. And there's my basic model. It's quite dark, and then we can actually look at the wireframe shade version here. You can actually see the edges of all the wireframes. So it's a sort of interesting model. What we've got here are two arrays or collectors because um, that is actually powered it's powered by lasers hitting this uh, gathering energy and then using that on the electric motors to drive it up and down on the nanotube ribbons which we can't see at the moment which are going to run in between here let's put this back into textured version yeah and then so the next thing we want to have a look at next is the actual moon base so let's have a look at that so let's hop over to our moon base and we'll zoom out slightly and we'll have a now Moonbase is done on lots and lots of layers let's knock it over to smooth shade would be good and then we'll go put some of these layers on so when we create some of our, our objects they get quite complicated and one of the easiest ways of breaking it up would be to put things on different layers so let's go over to here and there's all my layers apart from the actual uh, moon 
landscape and this here there we go this here is basically the big long um, sort of like uh, space elevator main structure and then to the one side of it which we haven't got in this particular scene in this model we're looking at currently uh, we have uh, nanotube fibers running up that and then off the thing that hangs off that is then the lift that runs up the side of this so this is basically quite tall as you can see yeah gives you a bit of an idea oh look there's the top of it there we go so you do cheat we'd actually make it completely 50 miles high we uh, we'd make it work to where the camera is that sort of makes a bit more sense doesn't it and we can zoom all the way down here and let's go and select some polys here and uh, shift a that so we can have a look get down to this area and then we get down to the actual ground level and on the ground level of the moon base we can see we've got um, a landing pad for that land we just looked at um, we also sort of got a car parky type area for the transporters and then these little sort of cross shaped items here are solar arrays yeah solar cell arrays for collecting energy and then we have some um, areas for storing fuel and oxygen um, and then we have corridors connecting and uh, yeah that's about it really isn't it that sort of like does the basic look of that model okay and that gives us that now if we hop over into layout which is our virtual um, film studio let's go over to that see what we've got there so what we've got here is the lift this is a lift that's now going to ride down on these carbon fiber nanotubes here and it's going to go and deliver our people from low earth orbit on the docking ring which you haven't seen yet we will show that in another video another video and it pops it down and we ended up turning up at the moon base itself let's hop over to a camera view and we can see let's go all the way back up here we can see that one of the camera angles we've got the lift or elevator on its way down and a bit of a twirl on the camera to make it a bit more interesting to look at that does that and then we can hop over to another camera here how do I do it for time oh, I don't know okay it's for time over to here and that's not cameras that's cameras let's get rid of that now I can look at cameras there we go <sighs> try that one there we go and then we've got um, a low view here let's hop over to this and then yeah there we go we've got the lift arriving and we've got a nice slow pan over here we've got some models shifting around because we're not actually looking at stuff properly there we go that's one of these things and let's hop over to the second guy I think it's that guy yes yeah, it's just a slow pan let's go from here we'll change our numbers from 820 there we go to there so there's just a slow pan of the moon base and a close-up of the uh, transport is all parked up and used because it's now robotically controlled um, yeah so that basically will cover the moon base so hope you enjoyed that uh, little thing. If you've got any questions, no doubt you can email us and say, uh, you know, whatever you need to know. And I'm trying to help you out on that. Okay, so that covers the moon moon base. We'll do some more videos of uh, different models in from different scenes, but uh, that should do you for that one. All right, thank you. Catch you later. Bye.